Welcome everyone, and today we're on 985, 98.5 The Hub today. I'm here with my co-host Ian Harper and Cormac Warner Streff, and today we're going to talk about the MLB trade deadline. Ian, what do you have so far on the uh, insight with the trade deadline? Uh, so I'll give my kind of biggest prediction of like the biggest guy that gets moved, biggest deadline deal that goes down. I think Luis Robert Jr. ends up going to the Philadelphia Phillies. I think he's the piece that they need to improve their offense and improve their kind of outfield in general. They're 27th in the league right now in offensive production from the outfield. They need a bat. Their offense is kind of slowing down right now. We've seen how they've lost in the uh, postseason the past few years. It's because their offense just stops, and they can't have that happen again. I think they send over guys like uh, Starlin Caba, George Klassen, maybe an Aiden Miller and Andrew Painter in there, get the deal done, bring him over to Philly. And I think that cements them as World Series contenders. Also just want to mention that we do have a phone number. It's at 656-666. 9999 and you can call that number on any insight or any questions you have about the MLB tread deadline. All right, Cormac, what do you have? Um, less the Reds, um, like the exact team that I feel like a person to go to. There's just two big pitchers that I feel like are definitely to be moved to any top contender that really wants them and has enough prospects. Um, it's both Mason Miller, um, a very fast throwing pitcher who any um, contender would love to have down the line in a close game. He comes in, just shuts it down. And then Garrett Crochet, just another starter um, that you can add to your rotation. So, yeah. All right. Oakland's always looking to sell. And uh, here again, we have our phone number, 656-666-9999. It looks like we have our first caller today. Hi, this is Sam from Jacksonville, Florida. Hi, Sam. I have a question. I have a question. So the NL wild card race, it's really close. Every team except the Rockies and Marlins are within four and a half games. Uh, which teams do you think will sell and which teams do you think will buy at the trade deadline? All right, thanks, Sam. Uh, Ian, do you want to start that yeah, off? Yeah, one off. Uh, so I know we heard from Cubs president Jamie Moyer yesterday that the Cubs aren't going to be looking to contend this year. But he didn't necessarily say they're going to sell, although I do think they're going to. I think a surprise move there could be trading away ace Justin Steele, along with guys like Jamison Tyone, Cody Bellinger, some more like supplementary pieces around that. Uh, I think the Mets are going to go in as buyers. I think that... Uh, the run they've kind of been on ever since Grimace became a thing there, it's it, it's been pretty special. And I'm, I am i don't love the Mets necessarily, but I think they're a special team to watch right now. I think they're a team that goes in. But I mean, as, yeah, kinda as he said, I think it's a seller's market. When you have only a few teams that are actually going to sell, I think you're going to see a lot of teams kind of buying and selling or just standing pat. I'm yeah. the opposite direction of Ian, actually. I feel like the Mets aren't going to be sellers. I feel like Pete Alonso's in it, moved around somewhere. I feel like, like Francisco Lindor is obviously the same place, but I think Pete Alonso... Um, did, like, I mean, any contender, I feel like it's like buying. I think the Phillies are going to be buying. I think the Yankees will be looking to buy. Um, and two people that I think the Yankees are also looking at is Jazz Chisholm. With Trent Grisham being not as strong as an outfielder, Jazz Chisholm could come in and be a good um, person to both play in the infield and the outfield, as well as Bo Bichette. Uh, Bo Bichette definitely needs a new like a new home. Toronto, he just hasn't been as great this year. I feel like a new star, a new place is just what he needs. Yeah, speaking of kind of Bo Bichette and the Dodgers, I know we saw a few days ago that they're talking to the White Sox about a trade for Garrett Crochet and Luis Robert. I mean, they've, we've seen them do something similar a few years ago in getting both Max Scherzer and Trey Turner from the Nationals. That didn't end up in a World Series, but it seems like they're kind of trying to do the same thing again. And it's, I mean, we're seven days from the deadline, and really the only deal that's gone down was about a month and a half ago of Luis Arias going to the Padres. But uh, from all the indications that I'm seeing, it looks like everything's going to start picking up over the next few days. Well, it looks like we're heading into a prime base baseball season and uh, we're going to go to a commercial break sponsored by Reese's. Thanks everyone. This is 98.5 The Hub.